Hi guys, today is as good a day as any for a spot of manscaping. The tool of choice is the Philips 7000 series body groomer. It's designed to shave and trim from the neck down. There's three body groomers available. There's the 3000 series, the 5000 series, and then this is the 7000 series. So this is uh, the most expensive model and the more advanced model, if you like. In the video, we'll take a look at the features and the design. I'll do as much body grooming that is possible, which suits me and, and is okay for doing online. I'm not going to be doing too much down there in the nether regions for for the purpose and benefit of everybody involved. Then I'll finish off with the verdict of what I think and give you guys some feedback. No doubt I'm gonna have some fun with this today. And hopefully any of you guys get a bit more clear if this, if this is suitable for you or not. A quick introduction, my name is Jason, I, I run the website shavingadvisor.com. I review many men's grooming products which includes these body groomers, various body groomers and shavers and razors. If you find the video useful at all, please do hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with the latest reviews that I've got coming out. Now a quick mention on model numbers, this series begins with BG70. Any numbers that follow the BG70 are to do with the country that it's sold or any accessories that it comes with. If you're looking at one of these that begins with BG70, this is the same product. And it costs, it costs around 60 US dollars and around 70 pound in the, in the UK. And the replacement files, they, they're pretty cheap and only cost around $15, 15 UK pounds and should be replaced every 12 months or so, depending on how frequently you use them. Let's show you what's inside the box, the features and design of the groomer. This has obviously been on box before. There's the groomer, the cord, electric cord, the plug attached, and the cloth storage pouch. Also your normal warranty and small instructions. Now, unlike any of the other Philips groomers, this is double-ended, so you've got a shaver this side, and then this side is the trimmer. Now, the trimmer has five settings, three to 11 mil power buttons. That's for the trimmer. And then if you used to use a shaver, you press the button there. So that's, that's good that they're, they're both separate. This slide off comb can be removed. Just use a trimmer. You take, when you take off the, the guard, if you need to, it can be a bit tricky to put back in. And that's, that's because you just need to push it, press on there as well. I'm saying like I broke it then. <laughs> there we go. So, so if I try and force it in, it won't go inside. Push there, it'll slide in easily. Rubberized grip around this side here and and for the thumb area there. Ergonomically friendly, use it for the shaver. It holds well in the hand, like so. And then if you're using if you're using a trimmer, if you're using a trimmer, it holds in the hand hand well as well. It feels quite heavy duty. It's uh, it doesn't it doesn't look or, or feel cheap. Large shaving file, which I guess would be larger for for body grooming or for covering a larger area now these these blades move backwards forwards and backwards they also move side to side these to take off and replace all as well also on both sides has a trimmer i call that a kind of pre-trimmer pre trimmers before this shaving the power inlet power no indicator light shows that will show when it's it's losing its charge. Pop the cord inside. Light will flash when it's charging. The jungle of the chest first. Right, I'm just going to put this on the setting five five mil. I know from experience this takes takes quite a lot of time. well over two, two months. I don't normally really grow that long and I usually trim it trim it down. I don't usually shave my chest back so I usually just trim it right down because I don't like the itchy feeling from shaving. The itchy feeling from it growing back. Sort of uh, as well as a bit tricky, you know, getting a 
Getting the right angle. Okay, so that's, that's down to 5mm, down to 3mm. It's a quick test, there's as much difference. Yeah, it's been moving more. That'll do. Section there will also trim. But you know, I've known in the past these to, to catch the hair somewhat, tug the hair. Yeah, I felt a little bit of a pull then, but they will pull at times, the outer trimmers. Yeah, I felt, I felt a little bit of a tug then again. That's why it's best to get rid of as much hair as possible before shaving. That them trimmer sections will pull air. Now imagine if that's around your uh, crane jaws area, you don't want that pulling on it, would you? Okay, so that was about done. It's not perfect, but you know, take another few minutes if I properly by myself. But yeah, pretty good, yeah. All right, okay, let's let's go for the armpits then. This is not helping. It's pretty hot here in the UK. I know people don't think it gets that hot here, but when it does get hot and these houses uh, with all of the, the insulation that keeping heat can get pretty hot, it leads to sweaty, sweaty armpits. The armpits trim. Uh, let's, let's shave the armpits then. That would rather do there as well. Just be aware of is this can clog up quite easily. I remember this when I was using it previously. Inside here a lot of hair gather so this needs to be cleaned out frequently whilst if you're trimming quite a lot of hair off. Otherwise, it'll be clogging it up. Try my tummy area, but what I'm going to do is trim first. We've the trim out without a comb attached. Yeah, look at that. That's that. What's quicker using that than using them sections there? The skin's still a bit sticky, so. I don't know that shaver's going to, the shaver section's going to do. Okay, now let's try shaving. Yeah, again, shave it all very close, it would say. Take quite some time to get that finished. And I'm not going to run the video so to get all this perfect. You just, you don't have the time for that, it's not worth it. Yeah, it'll take a long time. But my guess is, it, is if you've already shaved down properly and then do it every couple of days, you'll have a better experience. That'll do. Okay, we clean this up. So, Pop the blade off, blow out any airs that are inside there. You can give this a quick brush. Pop that back in. 
and just run it under the sack. Then I would leave that sit to sit out and dry, bring it back together again. As you can see, shaving the chest is a little bit tricky. It takes some time. Trimming was fine. Trimming was okay. The armpits was a lot easier because it's a it's a smaller area. On the video, because it was pretty warm, was uh, was tricky. So I had to go and finish it all off after. Now eventually got it all done uh, pretty pretty well. Got a good job done afterwards. I think I really liked about this was the doing around the groin area in between the the, the legs and the gonads because this kind of just reaches underneath and just catches the air the hairs easily and i think it's this this shape just kind of fits there perfectly people might ask can you shave your your crown jewels of it i wouldn't i wouldn't know because uh, you have a shavers and trimmers and it just pulls hairs and no no it's not for me but what i would use it for is for trimming down and then using a razor mac free or above is, is is much more suitable for me and try to shave regular edition like so get it all trimmed and shaved down and then going back every two days and, and shaving maybe it works better because some people some guys seem to have a much better experience with this and other body groomers i don't seem to have the the greatest experience with them now i'm just more i'm more of a trimmer guy and really needing to have this shave. and every time i've used it i've always found this trimmers at the side of the file useful but then they always catch hairs at some point they catch hairs so the bottom line we'll get a job done it takes a lot of time to get a larger areas done but it will do the job if you want any further information about this body groomer or any of the others the other phillips that i've that i've used you can take a look at the, the website link in the description there'll also be a link for where you can purchase the groomer and any other links that, I'll, that you might find useful subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with the next videos that come out or any reviews yeah. soon